I'm back to testing a, an amplifier using the Analog Discovery 2. Uh, you may recall that a week or so ago I uh, did one on a uh, Panasonic uh, home theater. This time I'm working with a Sony, but uh, the particular amplifier isn't really the issue here. What I'm really trying to do is to resolve an issue that I had about the uh, analog discovery where it and the Sencor analyzer uh, differed as to the RMS uh, value of the voltage on the speaker. So uh, what I've done is I've picked a different amplifier because that other amplifier does have some issues which I didn't really talk about but this one is essentially brand new. Well. I've had it for some time, but it, it's right out of the box. I bought it on a, got a real good deal on it for uh, uh, less than a hundred dollars, and so I couldn't pass that up. Anyway, <laughs> that was some time ago. But uh, what I'm working with here is the Analog Discovery. In this case, it's the Analog Discovery 2, and uh, it's using the uh, the, the BNC connector board and then above it you'll see a uh, a monitor. I'm, this is something else I'm trying to let me see exactly what the camera is showing. Part of the problem is sometimes when you're making these videos you set the camera up to sort of shoot over your shoulder and then unless you turn around uh, and get back uh, near the camera you don't really know what you're shooting. So I'm hoping this will make the videos a little more uh, usable. And so what I have here is a uh, is the analog discovery coming into the CD input of this uh, Sony. And I'm now going to turn up the volume to about 70. I'll leave it at 69 for reasons you'll see in a second. And then, so I don't have to compete with this audio, I'm going to turn the uh, monitor down on the Syncor. Now, on the Syncor, let me get a little more light on that. you'll see that the uh, the left channel is reading right at 5 volts RMS so that you can see what's going on here the uh, that control is set to uh, RMS well I guess it still doesn't show up very well but Maybe this will help. Uh, is set to AC RMS. Then over here I have set up my Rigol uh, DS4000 to uh, display the right and left uh, channel, that is the audio out across the, uh, the dummy load. In this case you uh, see it right there. And then I have teed channel 1 over to the scope input of the analog discovery. The Rigol is showing 5.25 volts, which is very close to what the Syncor is showing. And then over here on the analog discovery, pardon the motion sickness there, you see it's reading 4.9 uh, volts, which now corresponds almost exactly with the Syncor. In other words, now it's the Rigol that's reading a little high, but the Syncor and the Analog Discovery are now reading exactly the same uh, signal. Now that is uh, one of the things I wanted to resolve. The second thing uh, that I'd like to do is I'd like to redo uh, uh, one of the tests that I did in the original Analog Discovery 2 amp testing video. So let me set up to do that now. 
Now I'm applying a square wave to the uh, channel 1 and channel 2 uh, coming from the analog discovery to the waveform generator. And you may notice that if you looked at my previous video, you saw how that amplifier had the, the large spike, the large overshoot, and looked like an RC time constant. That, I think, is a defect in the amplifier. I was frankly surprised at it, and I commented at the time that the response seemed at best average and uh, was a little puzzled why I wasn't getting a square wave response because it should have behaved better than that in a one kilohertz uh, square wave. So this is the second test that I performed. I seem to be having some difficulty getting the uh, Analog Discovery 2 to trigger properly on this signal. Now it, it does have a lot of noise and that may be part of the problem. So I'm going to be looking at that, but in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and post this video because that's not really related to the issue I was, or issues that I was interested in following up on. One was the square wave response, which you can see this amplifier has more normal, or I should say much better, uh, square wave response than that Panasonic we were looking at. And the measurements, the RMS measurements, appear to be more uh, consistent both with the Rigol oscilloscope and with the Sencor analyzer. In fact, uh, the Analog Discovery 2's RMS measurement is almost exactly the same as the Sencor's. So, like I say, I'm going to go ahead and post this one, and I hope it's uh, the kind of thing that you enjoy. I would like to do a lot more experiments with the Analog Discovery 2. I just got it a few weeks ago, and I have some experience with the original Analog Discovery, but not the 2. So I think I'm going to uh, do a little bit of work with it off, uh, off camera, and see if I can figure out, one, whether there's a way to get it to trigger more reliably, and second, just to learn a little more about it before I do any more uh, Analog Discovery 2 videos. Hope you enjoyed this one and that you'll stay tuned for something more in the future.